right, all right, let's see who's there. Dining car samples have arrived, but who dropped them off? Oh well, Lily, let's go have a look at these. Come on, let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. and I'm here today with uh, Lily, my dog, and we're working from home today because of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, now, I've just received the first of our dining car samples, so uh, I thought I'd give you guys a first look at them. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I've got several different road names uh, set up here on my table. So as you can see, these are our Pullman Standard Dining Cars. Starting on the left here, we've got Great Northern, Ontario Northland beside that, New York Central. We've got the uh, very classy Northern Pacific car, the as-delivered CN uh, Car. Now this is also a diner lounge. Yeah, you will get a look at that later, but you can see that lounge seating at the other end. Amtrak in phase one. And of course, CN in the 1961 noodle scheme. This is the NW car. We have inside swing hanger trucks, full metal grab irons all around, just like on the ends there. We've got them on the roof as well. See them up here, sorry. We've got those beautiful full table settings on the inside of the car. Venetian blinds, just like the N&W used. You can see the handrail in the uh, hallway. That's on the opposite side of the kitchen. If you look on the other side of the car here, you've got the kitchen windows and uh, we do have full interiors. We'll have a look at those separately in a couple minutes. The end of the car, full diaphragms, which are sprung. Got the glass in the door, etched metal end gate. And we even have, if you can see it, I can focus in on there, might be a little dark. Then the car number on the top of the door, underbody, focus. Water tanks, oily propane tanks, all the electrical conduit, wiring harnesses, AC equipment, it's all under there. So let's have a look at the interior next. As you can see, we've got the main part of the kitchen, um, all done in stainless steel. We've got different equipment lockers, food storage areas. We've got uh, right in the center here is the three gallon urn for coffee and hot water. Got different uh, sinks for uh, washing the dishes, the dishwashing equipment. In the pantry area, we've got more storage, refrigerated storage, sinks and whatnot, cabinetry. The other side, we've got the fryers different uh, equipment storage again, uh, up above and below. The really cool feature on here is the fold down uh, washing sink. So we've got the sink there, but we've also included, if you can see it, let me get up a little closer here, you can see the plumbing for the hot and cold water coming from the, from the ceiling. Next, let's turn this around again. We've got the folding door for crew access to the kitchen and two more uh, equipment lockers here. So the front, the front one is the uh, refrigerated storage for fruits and vegetables, stuff like that. And also another equipment locker for linens, cutlery, stuff like that. So right in the center, we've got the main part of the car. This is the dining room. So this particular car is the 48 seat uh, diner. When we get close, let's uh, have a look at the tables. So we've got full cutlery which is painted stainless steel, tablecloths on every table, and uh, the plates. Now this is the Ontario Northland car, but on all of the CN cars, as you can see the plates there, 
we've actually done the yellow uh, lining that comes on all the plates. Each sheet is uh, individually applied as well. And of course there's the uh, glass divider. Finally at the end of the car we've got more equipment lockers and crew storage. This is for linen, any uh, crew equipment that they need while they're working. I've got the lighting activated. Now that comes uh, from the factory so as soon as you put it on the track the lights do come on. So this is actually the diner lounge. So we've got the lounge sheeting right there. They're focusing on that. The tables with all the uh, place settings of course and the pull down blinds. Every car comes with the Rapido lighter. You turn the lights off. Turn them back on again. And one nice part of these cars is they do have a small capacitor in them, so you won't lose your lights as uh, you're going down the track. And of course we do give you a few extra bits with all of these models. Uh, so in the package here we've got a, a long shank coupler. If you are operating on tighter curves and you're finding the cars are a little bit uh, uh, binding or not working as well as they should. Uh, swap out the coupler that's installed on the car on one end for the long shank and you should uh, see a bit of an improvement. We've also got the marker lights which will be painted correctly per, uh, per railroad and a really cool feature which is actually from the uh, New Haven dining car. These are the water jugs. So if you're installing passengers you can also put the water jugs on the tables. And we got that out. You do get a full instruction guide here, just information on the cars, your warranty information, English and French, of course, and other information. So be sure to read that uh, when you get your car, if you've got any questions. Looking at the trucks next, this is the CN car, obviously, and we've got the uh, 41 BNO 11 outside swing hanger truck. Now, on uh, Railroads, where it's more correct, we've included the 41N11 GSC truck. This is an all-new tooling, and this is the inside swing hanger truck that was uh, very common in the U.S. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this quick look at our all-new Pullman Standard dining car. Remember, these cars are on the way right now. They're uh, due any, I think, any time, probably the next month or so. Um, so uh, get your orders in and uh, the dog has lost interest and has left. <laughs>